So I saw this question in the comment section and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to make a Django models form tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're gonna create a Django model form which basically grabs a Django model, a database object and creates a form based on all the attributes. So we don't have to manually render out an HTML form. We're just gonna create that form object and throw it into the template and it'll create everything for us. And then we're actually gonna save that form and show you how that form actually processes an item and adds it to the database. So I set up a base Django application here. I created one model, just as customer with the first and the last name. And I have this template with a form, but it only has uh, it only has that input field, that submit button, and I have this view that renders out that template. So at this point, it just gives us this uh, very blank template. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna follow the Django documentation to create a model form. So we're gonna follow this method here, but before we do that, we're gonna put our forms into their own files so we can have multiple forms for multiple objects. So for this, I'm gonna create a forms.py file. And I'm just gonna run the imports right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste these and make sure that this is all cleared up. So this is what we need in that forms.py file, except for we're gonna be using our model and we're gonna import the customer model here. So the rmodels.py file and now we can create that form. So we're just gonna call ours customer form. And I believe you need to throw in model form. And this, uh, this form right here will take in two attributes. It's gonna take the model that we wanna represent. So the model is gonna be our customer model and the fields that we want to out, output. So at this point, we just wanna output all the fields that it has, so the first and last name. So we're just gonna say fields and just do underscore, underscore, all, and then underscore, underscore. And that should create our form now. So at this point, we need to throw our form into, uh, into the views file and just import customer form. So we need to throw our form in here and then we need to render it out in the template. So we're just gonna set the form variable and that's gonna be customer form. And we just throw that into the template like this right here. And context is passed in right here. And now that we have it in here and we're passing it into the template, we can now actually use it in the template. And we just simply use that Jinja method right there and say form so it represents our customer form at this point and it should be as easy as that and there we go we have our form so these are the two attributes we specified and now we want to actually save this form so i uh at this point action sends us to i need to show the show you the urls file um this current template gets represented uh or gets output by that default that home page url so we're just going to send it back to that url so action is to that base URL and the method we're gonna use is post. So this is gonna be a post method because we're sending data and we wanna create the object. So the first thing we wanna do is throw on a CRSF token. CR, I actually need to remember how that was. CSRF underscore token. And this basically just lets Django know that we can accept this, this is a safe object to take in or it won't accept it without it. And in here, we wanna write a little conditional. So we wanna say if request.method is post, so currently it's a get method, but once it's a post method, that means we have some form data to process. So we wanna change this up and we wanna throw that in again and we just want to and I'll actually console out the request method before I do anything else. So, or not console, but print. So I'll show you the data that the form has given us first before we actually process this. So at this point, if I just go put my first and last name in here. Okay, so something is not right with that token. 
Oh, and this needs to be a percent sign there. That's why. Now let's just let's just refresh this and test it. Okay, so that sends us that token, the first and last name. So to process this, all we need to do is throw in that post method into the form. And because we're throwing it into the form, it already grabs the attributes that Django provides for us with that. And we just say request.post. And now we want to save that form. So we say um, if form.is, and we're going to use is valid method. So if the form is valid, go ahead and save that form, form.save. And I'll just separate that a little bit to make it cleaner. So if the request is post, throw in the data and save the form. Check if it's valid, if all the attributes are correct and save it. So now we can run that one more time. And we're gonna process that and I'll just go to my admin panel and see if that item was added. So there we go. The customer is added, Dennis Ivanov. And that's as simple, or that's how easy it is to create a Django model form and actually add that item into the database and also render that out in the template. And I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.